You are God from beginning to the end. There is no argument. You are God. Please, I want everyone to honor God this morning as you stand up. Anywhere you are, you are hearing the sound of God through me this morning. I want you to stand up. We are going to be singing that song to the king of all kings this morning. You are God from beginning to the end. There is no argument. There is no argument. There is no argument. You are God. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. Come on, say you are God. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are Voice of the Lord are singing on you. Uh -huh. Here it is. We're going to sing that song again. The Lord said to me, I should tell that person that it's the Lord that didn't delight in Christ. Boy, delight in your talking. Yesterday you have been crying. Before yesterday you shed tears. But what the Lord is saying he wants to do in you is beyond the tears. So if you can sing this song to him this morning, it's up to something better in your life. Amen. I don't know for how long that the devil wants you to do something and you obey the instruction of the devil. By sharing the tears with him. Here it is. Tears belong to the devil. And uh, the happiness belong to our God. Do you understand that? You are going to sing that song. You are God from beginning to the end. There is no argument. There is no argument. From the beginning to the end, there is no what? No argument. Can we sing now? You are Lord God by yourself. You are God. Hallelujah.
chapter 41 verse 13 says for I the Lord that God will hold the right hand saying unto thee fear not I will help thee I pray help of God that is beyond your generational help that is beyond my own generational help I want your amen to be a running one I pray in the name of Jesus receive the help in the name of Jesus amen you have tried to make this work. The harder you try, the worse that is becoming. I pray in the name of Jesus. The help of God that is beyond your revelation, that is beyond your dream, that is beyond the vision you have seen about yourself. I prophesy, if you can shout out amen, receive the help in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The help that will suddenly change the season to the best season. I prophesy by the order of God in the name of Jesus. With your three rod in the name, receive the help in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Jesus. Can you declare the help of God? Help of God. Can you declare the help of God? My life is available. Ladies and gentlemen, let your voice be raised. Say, help of God. 
I want you to pray this morning with understanding. Sometimes a lot of people pray and their voice crack over nothing. Some don't even know if God hears or answers their prayers. Some don't wait after the prayer section to understand that God has heard me because I spoke to him. Some don't even understand the prayer to pray in a season. This is a seasonal prayer. The Lord is saying as you tell you, you have seek for help. You have dwelt too much on this mountain. You are going to the mountain of help where you possess everything that have to do with you. I prophesy. Help of God, receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Then I want your voice to be a shouting voice. Say help of God. Ladies and gentlemen, can you shout it very loud and clear? There is a sister here. Men will come around you and they will admire you and abandon you. You are here. You know I'm talking to you. So that is the sister. I want your voice to be louder than the voice of any other person beside you. Say help of God. Oh my God. Say help of God. I want that sister to shout because God wants to set you in this section of help. We have different segments to this prayer. But the topic is, but now. That is the topic we are treating today. But what? But now. I don't know anything that has been a statement in your life. But now, God is changing it. So I want your voice to be right. Say, help of God. Oh my God, the word of the word of the Lord say in the book of Psalms. That give us help in trouble. For vain is the help of man. If it's that man that helped you, the man will look down on you. If it's not me, there is no you. If it's that man that is sending you, the man one day, when you offend that man, the man wants to collect the glory of the help they are helping you. I pray in the name of Jesus as you pray today. God will help you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, In a lower, Lord, who love money, lie, nila, and lack, I can interpret. That is the help of God that make you get worthy that without any struggle. Are you ready to bless the help of God? My life is available. As I'm clapping my hands in the name of Jesus. Look at me now. 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 Somebody you are here, you want God to help you concerning your husband. Oh my God, the Lord is saying as you tell that person as you are praying this prayer, God is touching the heart of that your husband. Amen. Every blockage in the mind of that man, I pray, the heaven remove it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't know, he's here. You have been asking, Lord, I need help. The air pass will come, but your eyes and your mind is blank to them. The mind to see your hair pass when they appear to you. Receive that mind in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, help of God. Help of God. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, are you shouting very loud? Help of God. Anywhere you are, you are hearing the sound of God to me. Say, help of God. Help of God. My life, is available. My life is available in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I'm clapping my hands, clap oh, yeah, follow me, 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 follow me. You need that help for your children. Follow me, follow me, follow me. There is somebody that God will put you out of that river by the divine help of God.
prophesy concerning you and myself that the earth that is bigger than what we can see. I declare today, let the help come in the name of Jesus. Hey, man. The Lord is saying, I shall tell you, the help that is bigger than the one that help, the one that afflicts you. I prophesy. Let the help come in the name of Jesus. Hey, man. In the midst of confrontation, the help of God can give you comfort. Yes, sir. Because the word of the Lord says, Comfort ye, comfort ye, comfort my people. Speak comfortable to Jerusalem and cry to her that our warfare is ended and I need to the spider. When the Lord is speaking to angels to cry to you, you don't need to cry again. When God arrives on your matter, every blockage to any man help will scatter and open wide. You have been asking God on that business and didn't see help. Concerning my spouse, concerning my job, concerning my marriage, no help. I pray today, anything you need help for because you are here, receive the help of God. Amen. As you are praying, I'm praying for you and I'm praying for myself. Help of God that is more than man interference. When God wants to help a man, the Lord will say, sit down. Watch me. I'm about to do something. And if you have the heart to see God doing it, all you need to do is to sit and watch. There are lots of people by the time that the Lord is saying, I've helped you, I've given you the help you need, they are still praying for help. The help you are receiving today is a settlement help. Amen. Somebody is there where you are working, they are preparing your letter for sir. But the Lord is saying it's going to be double promotion. Amen. Maybe you didn't hear me very well. The Lord is saying it's a double promotion. Amen. I want to know what can work. Toma mo ba la de koko lori joko. I will I will I will explain. There's a way of help that made the king to stand up from the seat for somebody to sit. When the help of God came over David, after Saul pursued him and Saul could not guess him, Saul said, David, my son, oh my God, David, my son, I know you are the one talking. God has given me into your hand to kill me two times, but you refuse to kill me. David was claiming that the anointed man of God must not be killed. For him, let the one that anoint him find a way of killing him. It's not my business. Oh, hear this. He said, I know that God has given you that kingdom. Please remember my family. Remember my children when you get to that position. Four times the Lord said to Saul that God has rejected you. In 1 Samuel 28, he still went and meet with a woman. Say, can you find a woman with a familiar spirit? A woman. Why not man? And here it is. They call for the spirit of Samuel. And Samuel said, the Lord has rejected you. What are you still waiting for? You are a rejected fellow. You have heard this day the first time you are hearing it from me. But God has chosen somebody that is more prepared than you, prepared than you, prepared to stay in that place. A man that will come and change order. Here it is. With every tragedy and the strategy that was set, that was set concerning David, nothing met with him. This is the reason I pray for somebody that the help of God that you have been waiting for over the years. We are receiving it in the name of Jesus. Hey, Amen. I heard this, you know, the help that is not common. Hey, when you say, I want to do it this way, God will say, no, don't do it that way. Sit down and see what I will do. God is speaking to some person here. Receive that help in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody is in this meeting immediately. I came and left down there. I was praying. The Lord said something to me, which I will tell you. 
The Lord said, you are placed to top position in your family. But you are faced with tough, top position, top position, and tough issue that is not making you to have total happiness. I pray for that person. If you are at the top position in your family, but you are faced with tough issue. That it didn't allow you to have total happiness. I pray in the name of Jesus. I remove that tough issue from your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lord ask me to tell you that the day of your money is ending in the name of Jesus. Amen. Psalm chapter 30 verse 11. We are going to read the scriptures together. But I want you to read it and I want your voice to be a running voice. You are going to shout it. You are going to read it. You are going to chant it. Can you see it on the screen? Then we are going to read it together. Psalm 30 verse 11. Let's read it together very loud. Sound and clear. One to go. Thou has turned for me my morning into dancing. Thou has put up my sackcloth and guided me with gladness. Can we read it together very loud and clear? One to go. We are going to sing a song now. The Lord can do all things. When I say the Lord can do all things, say, oh yes, he can do what? He can do all things. When I say the Lord can do all things, you say, oh yes, he can do what? You are not shouting as somebody that mean it now. Say, oh yes. Oh yes. He can do all things. I don't know that man or that woman you have been waiting to see. God is going to connect you to that person. Are you ready? My God can do all things. Oh yes, He can do all things. Oh yes, My God can do all things. Oh yes, He can do all things. Oh yes, My God can do all things. Oh yes, He can do all things. Oh yes, My God can do all things. Oh yes, He can do all things. Oh yeah, He can do all things. Oh yes. Psalm 30 verse 11 say, Thou hast turned for me my money into dancing. Say, I receive it. I receive it. Thou hast done what? Money happened to be what used to happen in your life before now. But the word of the Lord is saying, because of today's service, say, but now is turning it into what? Into dancing. Thou hast put off sackcloth, cloth of sickness, cloth of agony, cloth of harrowing, cloth of setback, cloth of slowness, sackcloth of back forwarding. He said, and you have guided me with gladness. I pray in the name of Jesus, your gladness from today is contagious. Amen. When any man with you that we see the gladness of God upon your life in the name of Amen. God. Can somebody shall say anointing for gladness? Anointing for gladness. Can somebody say anointing for gladness? My life is available in the name of Jesus as I lift up my hands in the name of Jesus. For, 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 for. Top your hands in the name of your legend for Hoya, 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 Say, hey man, say, I'm waiting for a new song. I'm waiting for a new song. The word of the Lord says that you turn my money into dancing. You cannot dance if there is no song. As a matter of fact, there are two types of dancing. Sarah danced to dance in a lifetime. One, was the dance of a barren woman. Do you understand that? And she danced again. Did she dance the dance of a joyous mother? Hey! She said, when the angel of the Lord said to the husband, your, your wife is going to have children, she laughed. 
And she danced the dance of barrenness. She even said to the husband, he can't came and said to the husband, honey, marry my, marry my house. But hear this. In Genesis 21, say, who will have said that Sarah, me, Sarah, we give a child suck. And you will have said that this man at his old age will still have a baby. I pray in the name of Jesus. Every hope that is missing in you. Oh my God. God will fix it in the name of Jesus. Amen. There are lots of people that the iota of their barrenness is linked to when good things happen, it will never happen to them. There is no way. I repeat. When good things come, it will never come to their life. I pray in the name of Jesus, every share of good things that pass you by anytime good things come, I pray they will look at you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, I will arise and shine. I will arise and shine. Ladies and gentlemen, let your voice be louder than the voice of that person. I will arise and shine. By the order of the Almighty God, by the order of the Almighty God, I will arise, I will arise and shine. Please, if you are sick in your body, you cannot stand, you can sit down. But the Lord said, this service is a standing service. Is that okay? okay? No, if you are pregnant, sit. If you know there is something wrong with you, maybe you cannot maintain that body. Please, sit. But if you want to stand, stand. Because anyone that wants to make open, open declaration, what do they do? But when you want to do something in the realm of the spirit, you command what the Lord is saying you should command. If God is still in business of asking prayer, which I know, every issue that you came with to this place today will settle. Amen. The Lord said to me, Kimba Ogwa, Tijon Winino Ayia Awonka. The Lord is saying, as you rebook the ancient war in the life of so many people here, I lift up my hand in the name of Jesus. Every, give me that mantle. Every ancient war in your life, I command in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, we destroy in the name of Jesus. I lift up this man to the God in heaven. I declare by the honor of God. Every ancient one in your life, oh, yeah, pray. Amen. The Lord declared that, I don't know that program we did, and the Lord said the power was much. I said, pass this man to run your workers. No gata. After no sin, that no gata. Hey, I want no gata, don't come. And the Lord said, one took this man to, and the house rent was 2.5 million. The very first day, the second day that the man took entered into the house, somebody just ring and said, I have paid for the house rent. So daddy, I can see the power in that man too. When she took the man to the phone, she said, hang it here. Hang it here. Hang it here. It's command respect. I pray. I lift this up today. The person said, this is the mantle that my father and the Lord said the workers should pass around to share the benefit of God in their homes. I lift it up today in the name of Jesus. Anywhere the share of ever are located, that whenever they come to you, they don't remember you. From today, hold oh yeah, as I lift the mantle of mercy, let them locate you now. Amen. I remember that Nogata that everybody that came touch it. Everybody that came to that Nogata touch it. And since that time it has been with power. I declare today any issue you came with to this place. Oh my God. If God is the one that anointed me with this power and emptied the oil on it in the dream. Emptied with a few people in that dream. Before the normal ordination, I pray if that same God are coming, I don't know the issue that you come with on this place today. Heaven will set it for you in the name of Jesus. Hey, Can you declare, say, Oh, ye my heaven, oh, ye my heaven, for the instrumentalists and the media people and the technical, I want you to shout, say, Oh, ye my heaven, oh, ye my heaven, hear the word of God. Say, O ye my heavens of heaven, oh, ye my heavens of hear the word of God. The word of God. In the name of Jesus, hobble, 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 hobble,
let it open. Let it open in the name of Jesus. Aha, aha, aha. Let it open. In Jesus' name we pray. Daniel chapter 11 verse 28. The Lord is saying, I should tell somebody, you are leaving this place to your house with a knot of riches. Amen. I'm not sharing money with you, but the sharer of riches is the one saying you sit down. Say, then shall he return into his land with great riches. Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus. You will return to your heart with great riches in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh my God. I don't know whosoever has son that share the lot of your family and make your inheritance to be a missing inheritance. I pray in the name of Jesus, let there be restoration. Amen. The book of Joel chapter 3 verse 3 Joel 3 3 says and they have cast lot for my people. God is angry. I have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for a wine that they might drink. There are lots of people that what they use their life for is for the enjoyment of other men. Anyone that use your life or that of your children for their own enjoyment. I pray in the name of Jesus, you are coming out of their territory. Amen. Power that says you should enjoy for a while and suffer for a long period. Father said that they will rekindle and refuel the affliction in you. I prophesy the affliction paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Amen. If anyone that says go and catch somebody and they don't see that person to catch, won't they return back? When they don't see affliction in you any longer, we, which affliction are they going to reverse back? I pray in the name of Jesus. Any form of affliction configured against your life. Oh yeah, destroy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every power of the wicked that said nothing good will happen in your life. Oh yeah, come to an end in the name of Jesus. Hey. <laughs> Anointing for a peaceful life. That will make men and women of your time to celebrate you. Because there is somebody here, people will celebrate you before the end of July. Amen. The Lord promise to take reproach away from people. Isaiah chapter 25 verse 7. Isaiah chapter 25 verse 7 says, And it will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people. And the veil that is spread over all nations. I pray. That covering cast over your life. We have been destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. If anything cover a man or every cast, cast cover a man, such a person will be seen as another person. His blessing will be going to another person. When God said people to you, I don't see him because of what the covering cast is covered that person's face. There are lots of people they are walking as hey, beautiful as they can. But good opportunity never come around them. Because of what? There is a covering cast, a veil that covered their face. Good things will happen and will stop happening because of the covering cast that covered their face. I pray in the name of Jesus, every covering cast that covered the faces of anyone here, how you be tear apart in the name of Jesus? Amen. If covering cast cover the face of anyone, is or a case will be the case of missing identity. No one will come to just have certificate and the certificate will not work. You have it to one. Or somewhere yesterday to the glory of God with Pastor Femi Emmanuel. When he was ministering, he said something about uh, a particular guy with two one. Seeking job for seven years. Two one. That everybody will be looking for. And said to that, you have a problem. It is possible for you to be the carrier of manifestation, but you not to be released to manifest. But from today, if God is still in the business of answering prayer, you will manifest. Amen. It is also possible for people to manifest, but the manifestation.
manifestation is not seen. It's possible for the manifestation to be seen, but when the harvest is supposed to come, the harvest will go to a wrong person. Because the covering cast has covered the face of that person. I want you to declare, say my manifestation. My manifestation. Oh, they are not shouting. Say my manifestation. My manifestation. Hear the word of God. You will not miss my identity. Shout out to him. Eh? Amen. Anyone with a covering card, the voice will not be heard. The voice will not do what? Will not be heard. Voice of the business will be silent. Voice of great opportunity will be destroyed. Voice of goodness and mercy will not be heard. The voice of fruitfulness will cease. The voice of enjoyment will speak to something that you can never recover. So I pray in the name of Jesus, every covering cast that cover your voice. I pray in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Any covering cast that make things to be tough and harder for you when people are enjoying the best life. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. The joy that should be enjoyable in unending way. And with mercy, such person will be living below the standard of greatness. And something terrible will start happening in the life of that person. I pray in the name of Jesus by the order of God. Every covering cast that casts your face, cast your life. The word of God says, on this mountain. Hey! On this what? On this mountain. I pray today. On this mountain, can you declare, say on this mountain? On this mountain. Somebody is not shouting it very loud. On this mountain. Say, I declare in the name of Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus. Say, every covering cast. Every covering cast. That cover my faces. That cover my faces. Say, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Hear the word of God. Hear the word of God. As I'm clapping my hands. Oh, yeah, remove. 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 I like the way you are clapping your hands. Oh, yeah. Remove. Remove. Vasha Kapali Patusa Tepoli Mayanta Legebosha. Aha. Anywhere you are, prayer, prayer. Aha. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Aha. 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 Say, hey, man. Hey, man. Anyone with a coverings cast, when there is time for promotion, you will not be promoted. People that are supposed to come around you to celebrate you will just look down on you. The deal will have been done. And they begin to regret. Oh, I wish I helped you that time. But I pray today that covering cast is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Hey, man. Passerby will refer to that person as a sad parable. Then we look at that person. The tree that we are saying is going to eat fruit. Look at it. All the branches are cut off. The root is cut off. Everything that's supposed to make tree good, that make tree a tree, are branches and the roots. You understand? You understand? When you take the life of a man as that of a tree, it's a place where you can sit and find solace. When there is hot sun, you hide under it. But people that are supposed to depend on you, let me tell you, to any man you see on earth, there are men that depend on you. And if people that depend on you cannot find solace from you, to go to another place. Because the goodness and the mercy they are supposed to see you, they are not seeing it. So therefore, I pray, as I declare, every root in you, every branch is in you that are cut off. I pray in the name of Jesus, let God fix it back. Amen. Are you shouting amen to that? I say, let God fix it back. Amen. I say, let God fix it back. Amen. Romans chapter 7 verse 21. The book of Romans chapter 7 verse 21 says, I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. Verse 22. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man. Verse 23. But I see another law in my members. Warning against the law of my mind. Your mind is for goodness. 
But certain people say, you cannot eat that goodness. I'm bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my member. I pray in the name of Jesus. Every wrong law in your body system, every wrong law in your family, I prophesy, oh yeah, let it paralyze. Hey, yeah. Every law that is saying, watch people out they are demonstrating greatness, but you never demonstrate. Every law that is saying, among your siblings, see all of them manifesting grace, but you will never manifest. Every law that says, this is the way it has been in your family, and this is the way it must be for you. I pray in the name of Jesus, those long law, oh yeah, paralyze in the name of Jesus. Amen. Honor was reproached, and the Lord intervened. Do you believe that? Yes, sir. Sarah was reproached, and the Lord intervened. Job was reproached, and the Lord intervened. Elizabeth was reproached, and Lord was intervened. The three Hebrew men, Daniel and other people, they were reproached, and God was intervened. Jephthah was reproached by sending him out of his father's house, and God intervened. Do you believe that? Mordecai was a man that felt the highest peak of reproach. I hear this, and God intervened. I pray today, any form of reproach in your life, let God intervene in the name of Jesus. Amen. The man at the pool of Bethesda has been there for 38 years. She happened to be the landlord <laughs> at the entrance of five approaches. The word of the Lord said, there are five approaches in that place, five represent grace. She was sitting in between grace, but could not. He was sitting in between grace, and he could not manifest grace because of what the power that tied him down for thirty-eight years. You know what it means for somebody to be on the same spot for thirty-eight years. Until when the Lord Almighty came in, Jesus came into this situation and asked the man, "What do you want me to do for you?" And the man said. When the water is troubled, no one come to push me in. And Jesus said in his heart, if this man had know who is talking to him, and he said, carry your nonsense. A lot of people have been passing through that place. This man will tell them, this is the way the water is troubled. They will come and take answer for him. But when he turned to his own tongue, nobody helped. You have been helping people through your advice, through your money. But when you need help, nobody come to you. help from today. It's your season of help. Amen. If somebody say amen, I say it's your season of help. Amen. If you can have assurance to this amen, I say it's your season of help. Amen. Jesus came to the mountain and asked the man, take all your nonsense and stand up. I hear this. The evil rulers still came. The evil kings, the evil elders. And they said to him, This is Sabbath day. We used to see you here. How come it's on the Sabbath day that you stood up? Who asked you to stand? And he said, The one that has me to stand is the one that has power over the Sabbath. Sabbath is a law. But he is the Lord. There is difference between the law and the Lord. And he said, "Hi, hey, is the Lord that has me to stand up. The one that has me to stand is the one that has me to pick my bed. The one that has me to pick my bed is the one that has me to go and thank God in the temple. The one that has me to carry my bed and go. He's the one that brings power to this river. I prophesy. I don't know for how long you have been beside, beside grace. How you cannot manifest her. You are not waiting for water to trouble again. Jesus will come to your mother in the name of Jesus. Amen. Here it is. Anointing make different. Daddy. Do you believe that? Yes, sir. Even now. But now. Jesus sir, You have been there for a long period of years. I can understand you have been there. But you are one of the assignments that my God in heaven say I'm going to perform. But now, people don't want you to stand up. But now, I am the rivers of life. I'm the light to the world. I'm giving light to whosoever that desire light in abundant 
water. I measure it without any metric, without any turn. I measure it without anything. I measure it by grace. When men want to give you measurement, they will give you the length that they can control. The men will tell you, if I give you beyond this standard, you will get there and begin to destroy me. I, I, I taught one of my sons in the law. He acquired a lot of certificates. Very great certificates. Oh my God. Serious certificates. And I said to him, listen to me. With your certificate, you have to be wise. You will get to some place of employment. When you tender all your certificate, the people that will attend to you, they might not have obtained the certificate. They know that when you come in, you will sack them. So tender number one. When they need another assistant, say, I have another one. Tender it. When they need another one, say, I have another one. Tender it. When you tender hall, you will never enter. Wisdom is profitable to do what? Planet. A particular brother, after he has searched for job, no job, then he entered into a particular bank as a driver. And the time came they needed to employ, and he asked somebody around, please, can I apply? And the person loved driver, apply. This is not a driver position. And he applied. When it was the time for the written test, he went for the written test. When it's time for the medical, he went for the test. Horror test, he went for horror test. I hear this. He was employed. Not as a driver again. As a matter of fact, before he left that place, he also had his own driver. I pray. Anointing for you to apply wisdom. Whenever wisdom is needed, receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. This man cannot make use of his wisdom again. And he said, I will take you to the one that asked me to stand. And when they look at him, they cannot do anything. In the book of John, chapter 9, he also met with a man born blind. And the apostle has came. What happened? Is this man suffering from the sin of the father of the mother? Jesus said, No. Or his own sister, no. But for the name of the Lord to be made manifest. This is the reason we are here. And he asked the man, use clay. Clay. That same spot that that man passes through. That the spot that the blind man passed through. And he said, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. I formed this. I created you. I know what to do with it. I know there is going to be clay when I'm going to heal you. And he picked the clay and put it on his eyes. And he said to him, go and wash it. By the time he returned, you know what happened? The core blind people say, is he the one? It's like he's the one. Is he the one? How come can he see? When he discovered that these people troubled their own self because of him, he said, I am he. I am what? E. Don't trouble yourself. I am E. An evil head that still stood up. Any evil head that's on your matter, they will submit this morning. Amen. They stood up. And they went to the father and the mother. They went to the parents. Tell us that it's not Jesus that healed your son. Because the law of Judaism, the rabbinic law for that time was... Anyone that conveyed that Jesus was the one that healed will not enter into the temple. So in that time, the word of the Lord in the book of Corinthians said that you are the temple of the Lord. So anyone that says you cannot enter into the temple, just deceive himself. Because of what? You are the mobile temple. Anywhere you can be praying on the street because you are the temple and your prayer is answered. You can be praying inside your vehicle and your prayer is answered. I remember some times ago, I put my pastors on, us, on prayer assignment. We call it we call it cruising prayer. Prayer ride. We call it prayer ride. We start praying as we are driving. We have covered a lot of prayer before we get to our destination. The prayer was so wholesome, it's like we are in the church. Then I said to them, all of you carry temple. Temple number one, temple number two, number three, number four. Te seven temples. I say, hey, if seven temples meet together is the number of perfection. And the vehicle also receive another altar and grace. I pray for you today. They said to that woman, 
you know that you don't go enter temple if you say it was Jesus that does that. And the parents said, he's of age, go and ask him. And the boy said, what do you say? Tell, and they said, tell us that it's not Jesus that heal you. What do you say again, sirs? Tell us that your healing was not for him. And he said, do you want to know? It's the one that healed me. Do you also want to be his disciples? And they go away. Right answer to your accusers. Right answer to your traitors. Right answer to critics. I pray in the name of Jesus, God will take you with it. Amen. When you heal, they will come to you. How come are you? They might come to you in the dream. They might come to you in the physical. But you don't have any other answer to tell them. I have a God who never fails. Can you sing it? I have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Forever. Do you know to every great man there must be critics. A man came to come and reproach Mordecai on top of the former reproach. And God sent it to honor. In the book of Esther chapter 6. And the king said, who is there in that place? The inner court. And they said, it's Amma. Ah, Amma in my house? It's not supposed to be here. Okay. And he called Amma because he loved Amma. And he had already heard what Amma did to Mordecai. Who is that person that the king with delight? And Amma said, it must be me. It can never be any other person. And God said, everything you have said, go and do it to your enemy. And after that, he went into his house and died a painful death. He hung himself because somebody was honored. That is the right of anyone that come against your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mordecai didn't pray the prayer of die by fire. He didn't pray such prayer. Mordecai only pray a prayer. Lord, help me. And Esther said, if I perish, I perish. Pray for me. Let everyone fast. Both the young and the old in this place. And they fasted. And the fasting worked for them. And she requests that they must pray for her. And you know what? I'm getting there. The scepter of trouble turned to the scepter of joy. I pray in the name of Jesus by the order of God. That scepter of joy that will make your life a memorable life. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Are you here? Please, if this is your case, I want you to come out. You are blamed and accused for what you did not do. Every time that has been your issue, they always blame you. Either in your husband's house, your family, anything you don't do, you've discovered this about your life since when you are small. If you fall into that category, please you come. You are living below your expectation. You have a particular life you're supposed to live. But you know that this is not the life you're supposed to live now. It's going wrong. Things you lay your hands on don't work out. When I say come out, I want everybody to come. You struggle to get a better life. But you are seeing worse life in your personal life. Please God want to touch you. People that should comfort you are the same people selling you to killers, to mockers, to haters, and to backbiters. People that should help you. People that should help you in your family, they are the one doing that. When you will have become the best, worst things is present in you. You seek for joy and sadness replace that joy. Can you come out when the choir sing for us? Let us people come out. Kosagara to da piti Jesu. Kosagara to da piti Baba. O sagara o to da piti Jesu Agbara 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 to jagba ko sagara Oya 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 O sagara Aha Oya O sagara to da piti There is no power like 
the power of Jesus. That is in the middle of the song. Oh, he's wonderful. Oh, he's wonderful. Come on, sing it out. Wonderful. Who is wonderful? 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 We better clap your hands for the way. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Who to clap for him? Want to clap for him? I'll clap for him. Want to clap for him? I'll clap for him. Want to clap for him? I'll clap for him. Want to clap for him? I'll clap for him. Want to clap for him? I'll clap for him. Say powers, powers behind my problem. Say what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Hear the word of God. Fade away. Disappear. Aspire. Now! Can you shout out the Amen. Say, I prophetically command that every assurance of demotion concerning my matter. Say, what are you waiting for? Enough is enough. I command in the name of Jesus. As I'm clapping my hands. In the name of Jesus, die, 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 Aha, oh yeah. Let the insurance die. Let it waste away. You better clap your hands. Better clap your hands. Better clap your hands. Better Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Die. Aha. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like the way you're clapping. Aha. 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 Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Aha. Pasa kapali pato so pali ba. Say amen. Amen. Can you shout louder? Amen. But there are seven things say, but upon Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. I command in the name of Jesus with your seven rare in amen. That deliverance that is more than what man can deliver you for. Receive that deliverance in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, glory. Amos, the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 11. Amos, chapter 9, verse 11 says, In that day, will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is falling. Your tabernacle that is falling is raising up. Amen. And close up the branches thereof. And I will raise up his room. And I will build it as in the days of can you shout glory? glory? Are you ready to declare? Yes. Say, oh my wasted effort. Oh my wasted effort. Ladies and gentlemen, can you pray very well? Say, oh my wasted effort. Oh, my wasted effort. Say, hear the word of God. Yes. In the name of Jesus, as I'm clapping my hands. Oh yeah, receive deliverance. Receive deliverance. Receive the Receive the Receive the Receive the Receive the Aha! 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 My effort will no longer be a waste of effort in the name of Jesus. From today, let there be revival concerning all my efforts. In the name of Jesus. Aha! Oya! 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 Say amen. Amen. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. You will no longer be blamed for your wrong thing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anyone other the son of God to me, you will not live below your expectation in the name of Jesus. Amen. From today, if your amen can be the father of the amen, you have been shouting. I declare in the name of Jesus, anything you lay your hands on will work in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
power that make men to see for good and they see evil. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, let the power disappear in the name of Jesus. Amen. Pani pani o chiji, sudden killer. I prophesy that kiss stars and destiny. I pray they will not have rights over your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. People that should comfort you, comfort me, comfort us. That be the same people that sent for killers. For mockers, for eaters, for bikepackers over our lives. I pray in the name of Jesus, let their interest over your life paralyze. Hey. Hey. Power that make you to see worse when you're supposed to do the best. I prophesy by the order of God, let your aim be a running one. Let the power waste away. Hey. Hey. In the place of sadness, begin to see joy. Amen. Hey. In the place of dishonor, begin to see honor. Amen. In the place of disgrace, begin to see grace. Amen. In the place of scandal, begin to see open doors. Amen. Power that made people to live a disgraceful life in your generation. Let the power Amen. I want everyone to shout loud amen to this. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Power that make you to run the back race. That didn't allow you to join the people that are frontliner. A marriage and everything. Good things work for you before, but it's no longer working. I pray. Oh, yeah, let the power waste away. Amen. I say, let the power waste away. Amen. Oh, my God. Anointing that will single you out for manifestation of new month. Enter into the anointing that of Jesus. Amen. By next, tomorrow, you enter into new month. Six is the number of man and the day that God repaired destiny and life. Power that say you will never see more than me. I pray. In their presence you will testify. Amen. And they will have nothing to do concerning our liberty. Amen. Because this month is a month of solution. Anyone that you are still expecting solution, let the solution of God come in the name of Jesus. Amen. The eastern solution, western solution, northern solution, and the southern solution from the Orion, the galaxies, and the Pleiades, and every area, the star and the moon that they're supposed to produce for you. In the name of Jesus, oh, you Lord, that produce in the name of Jesus. Amen. It shall be well with you. Amen. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you return back to your seat, one to go. Hallelujah. 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 Say glory.